Okay, so this is question number seven. All right, so in uniform circular motion, um, which of the following quantities are constant? So we're given four quantities, speed, instantaneous velocity, centripetal acceleration, and the magnitude of the net force. So let's just write these down. So speed is our first one. And then we have instantaneous velocity. Instantaneous velocity. And then we have centripetal, so I'll just write short form. Acceleration. And magnitude of net force, so we'll just call this F net. Okay. So let's look at what these junior tutor answered here. So when an object revolves in a uniform circular motion, the speed of the object remains constant as the object equal distance in equal time intervals of time. However, the direction of the object continuously changes. That is why the velocity is not constant. The object covers equal angular distance and equal amount of time, which makes angular velocity constant. And the angular acceleration becomes zero. Centripetal acceleration varies for the velocity and the magnitude of the net force on the object is the same at all points. Thus, speed, angular velocity, and the magnitude of the net force remains constant in uniform circular motion. So we have speed, so they're saying speed, angular velocity, and the magnitude of the net force from constant uniform form. So we're not here really asked about angular velocity, we're asked about instantaneous velocity. And I believe they mentioned this up here. Time, velocity, constant, angular central acceleration. Okay, so so if we're looking at kind of just an object moving in a circle, so we have let's say this is the center of a circle over here, and we have this kind of path. Let's say this is, this, is a, this is a bad circle. Let's say it's a perfect circle. We'd have some F net force. Let's say the object was over here. And this would represent the centripetal force. And the object moving, let's say, in this direction. This is the instantaneous velocity. So we draw that tangent to the circle. So we can think about speed here. So because we have uniform circular motion, we know that the speed, which has no direction, we're only thinking about magnitude when we talk about speed, throughout the entire motion around the circle, it will be the same. It would, it would never change because we have only this centripetal acceleration, which is acting um, on the object to move it in a circle, but there's no change in speed of the object um, throughout the situation. So the magnitude will stay the same. The direction of the object changes, for sure, but since it's uniform circular motion, the magnitude of velocity stays the same. So for this, we know magnitude stays the same. So this will stay constant. So let's think about instantaneous velocity. Since we're saying velocity, not speed, we know that it, it, instantaneous velocity has a direction. And instantaneous velocity is represented by this arrow over here. So let's say when the object moves to over here somewhere, we'd have another dot and this would be instantaneous velocity now. So it would be this at this point and then this at this point. So we can see that the direction has changed. As we're talking about velocity, we're talking about magnitude and direction. We can see that the magnitude is the same, but the direction has changed. So therefore, in this situation, we'd say instantaneous velocity is not constant for, for uniform circular motion. So let's look at the next situation. So centripetal acceleration. So for centripetal acceleration, it would be AC. So it would also be acting in this direction as well. And throughout the motion, let's say the ball was over here now, centripetal acceleration would be in this direction. So, so once again, sa same idea. So since it's centripetal acceleration, it will have a direction and a magnitude. So here we can see when the ball or object is at this point, the ex centripetal acceleration points this way. And then when it's at this point, the centripetal acceleration points in this direction. So if I were to draw like a be better circle, what, what I was thinking like, would be something more like this. So this is kind of an, 
Um, not a perfect circle over here, but but think of it as a perfect circle in that these two arrows are tangent, and then these two arrows, this arrow and this arrow, are perpendicular to that tangent line. And we can see that the four centripetal acceleration, there's a change in direction. There is no change in magnitude, but since there's a change in direction, we know that this is not constant. And finally, we have the magnitude of the net force. So we can see here, we'll put kind of an absolute value. So since we're talking only about the magnitude of the net force, you can, you can see clearly that they've um, specified this for a reason. We can see that although the net force changes direction, so the next net force will be over here, this, this would also be F net. So I'll say it's that's F net, this error over here. You can see that similarly to centripetal acceleration, the magnitude of the net force changes direction. Uh, sorry, the net force changes direction, but the magnitude stays the same. And since here we're asked for the magnitude of the net force, we would say that this is also constant. We don't really care about this the direction um, since that's not specified. So based on this, um, they um, specify the correct answer. So angular velocity we're not really asked for, but this is also true. The angular velocity is constant, magnitude of net force is constant, and speed is constant. So we'll mark this as correct. Answer, correct answer, great work. And let's move on to the next question.